Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video um, I'm going to be unboxing some packages from Amiami and Amanda Arcade So these are 7 packages and uh, these are the smaller ones So I'm going to start off with the smaller ones And yeah, I hope you like the video This is a little bit larger opening than usual Because I've been going a little bit crazy buying some figures So I hope you like watching it And let's start opening them Okay, so first of all I'm going to be opening this small Mandaki box So let's see what's inside of here Okay, so I have opened the box and as you can see inside there is a figure and I think there's something else in here as well So yeah, let's open this up Oh, this is actually a garage pet that I already opened Let's have a look Okay So inside we have first of all some Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves these are the god card sleeves. These are really cool. I just love their cute TV design for the gods. Um, I also have a garage kit. Um, I've been trying to get into garage kits lately. And this is the garage kit that I got. I've been really into garage kits lately. I really like the idea of making your own custom figure. So assembling it and painting it. And I'm really excited to give it a go. So this will probably be my first garage kit. It was only a thousand yen, um, which I thought was a really good deal. And the design is really, really cute. I like that a lot. So yeah, that's what the um, finished product will look like, and because you paint it yourself, you can even change the colours. But I think I'm going to stick with the same hair colour and just change the outfit colours a little bit. Um, and yeah, um, I've played the girls' side version of this game, I haven't played this version. But I am really interested in it, and garage kits are kind of hard to come by. So if you find one that you like, it's kind of worth picking up anyways. So yeah, really excited about that. Okay, so moving on to the next Mondoke box. This one is kind of like a medium size, I would say. So yeah, let's see what we've got inside. I have been going a bit of a frenzy buying a lot of figures, so there's probably going to be a lot of figures today. Okay, so she's kind of glued to the box. Okay, so I've opened the box and inside there was this figure and these little figures. So let's take a look at the big one. Okay, so this is what the figure looks like. I really like this character and I've been wanting to get one of her figures for a while. Um, this is the figure of hers that I like the most, so I was really happy that I could find this one for a good price. Um, I think it was actually very cheap on Mandarke, so yeah. Really happy with that. It does have a soft little body, but I like the hoodie body the most. So I probably won't be changing it. But yeah, this is what she looks like. It's kind of hard to see it through like the window. But she's really cute. I like her um, a lot. And next we have these smaller figures. Um, these are OS Tans. Um, if you follow my channel, you've probably seen me post my OS Tans before. They're like personifications of operating systems. And I just think they're really cute. I really like them. Um, they're very nostalgic for me because uh, they remind me of like the early days of um, working on the mail on the internet so yeah, um, I have these two and they're both really cute I don't know where their bases are though um, I think they're in there somewhere, hopefully otherwise I'm going to have to find a way to stand them up but yeah, really really cute, I like the packaging as well okay, and next I'm going to open the smallest package from Amiami so inside we have, first of all, the postcard as usual so this is the postcard for this uh, this month. Uh, really, really cute. I think I might have this one already though. Okay, and inside, this is a pretty small package, so there's not that much stuff in here. But let's take a look anyways. And uh, inside we have, uh, first of all, there are these Kaiba keychains. I bought three because three is like the maximum that they'll let you buy. <laughs> and these are really, really cute. I love the design. Super cute. So yeah, I have those. And I also bought this. I was really interested by this. Um, this is, you put this together and you can stick like an acrylic charm in there. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes like a scene and you can kind of put an acrylic charm in there. Um, like as if he's in a parfait. I'm definitely going to try it with um, one of my Kaibos. So hopefully that works out. I think it's really cute. And I picked the blue one. There's a few different colours. Okay, so the next package is another Mondarkey one. Um, it's kind of like a medium size, like a large medium in my opinion so yeah let's get inside and see what goes in here okay so um there's another figure in here and i think i know which one this is but i'll open it up and we can see okay so um it is a maze kirino figure i got an amazing deal on this um i got this for 1500 yen so about 15 dollars and i just thought that's really good um, i do collect kirino figures and this was one of the ones i didn't have yet so yeah, the box is not very interesting to look at, <laughs> but the figure is beautiful, it is Kirino in a maid outfit, 
uh, I know I just really like this figure, I don't know why I didn't have it yet, but I'm glad that I waited because I got a really good deal on it. So yeah, that's a really cute Kirino figure, and maybe I'll show my Kirino collection sometime on this channel, let me know in the comments if you would like to see it. Okay, so now we're moving on to the slightly larger boxes, um, this is a Mandrake box, and um, it's a little bit bigger than the last one I think. Uh, inside we have a figure, and um, this is a figure that I've really wanted for ever since it came out, um, probably years now, and I never got it, um, it was actually kind of expensive at first, so I'm glad I waited because the price went down a lot. Okay, so I've taken out the figure out of the box now, and oh my gosh, I'm so so happy with this figure, I've wanted this figure for years, and I'm a really big fan of Plum's figures, uh, this is a Plum figure, um, they make really really soft and cute figures, and I just love that so much. Uh, this was definitely my top wanted figure that they've made as well. Um, I finally got it, so yeah, uh, this is what the figure looks like. It's so, so beautiful, so soft, so cute, and that's what they really specialise in, in my opinion, uh, and that's what I really like about them, so they're one of my top companies. And yeah, I just love that outfit, I love the expression, I love that she's got that nice ice cream, and she's sitting on a chair, and it's just so, so nice. Um, here's some of the details from the outfit. And as you can see, it's just really detailed, really cute, really soft, really lovely. And this is what the full figure looks like. She's kind of sat on a chair. I just think it's so nice. Uh, I definitely want to make a video about this one. Okay, so moving on to the next Mando IK package. This one is a very long package. So, yeah, let's get into the thing that. Ooh. Um. Okay, and inside the box we have um, two figures, which explains why the box was so long. So I'm going to try and get those out now. Okay, so there are a few things in this package, um, the first one being this figure of Yuno from Hidden My Sketch. Um, this was a series that I really liked when I was younger, I remember owning the manga and really enjoying it. So I saw her for super cheap and I just couldn't pass her up. Um, I know, she's just really cute, definitely wanted to have her for my collection. And I think she's only about 600 yen, so maybe like $6. I know, I think she's really cute, I like the pose. Um, and yeah, she's adorable. So yeah, I got her. Um, I also got a, a manga. Um, this is one of my favourite mangas at the moment. I'm really hoping that it gets an English translation and published. Um, this is definitely my top three manga that I really want to get published right now. Um, I just really, really love it so much. It's so funny. Um, the characters are so likeable and relatable. Um, and it just follows the everyday life of these two girls and them meeting up and talking in the food court. It's called See You Tomorrow at the Food Court. And, oh my gosh, it's just such a fun manga. Um, I really love it so much. So, really, really hoping that this will get an English print. But until it does, I have my Japanese copy. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to get it because I love it so much. Okay, and next we have this rather plain box. It kind of threw me off because I didn't know what it was. Um, but I remembered that it is another figure that I ordered. So, yeah, it is a Marisa from and I really really like how this figure looks, it's got a really cute face, if I can, uh, if I can get it in the camera to show you. <laughs> okay, so I managed to zoom in on the figure's face and I just love how this figure's face is painted, I just think it's so cute, such a cute style. Um, one thing I really like about Toho figures is they come in so many different styles because it's so open for interpretation. Um, I really like this one, I had to pick it up when I saw it, it was a pretty good price as well. And just really really cute, really happy with this, so yeah. That's what this figure looks like. So yeah, that's what I got in this box. Um, I'm really happy with these. It was a really cheap order as well, so I feel like I got how many's worth out of that. And yeah, really excited. Check this out. I don't have any physical copy of it because it's such a good manga. Definitely check it out if you like um, just cozy but funny slice of life type uh, series. Okay, and next I'm moving on to this really large anime box. Um, this is one of the biggest boxes that I've ever gotten from them and I can't even show it on the camera. There was quite a story behind it as well. Uh, this was an order that I made uh, just before some of the cheaper postal services went down um, and I asked them to keep it in the warehouse for when the services came back but um, a year later, over a year later actually, and the hand didn't come back so I just asked them to upgrade it and ship it. So this is an order from over a year ago, <laughs> probably about a year and a half ago by now. So yeah, um, finally got this, really excited to open it. And it's quite a large box, which is why I didn't really want to pay to upgrade the shipping. But um, yeah, glad to have, finally have it anyways. Okay, so trying to open this on the camera is really hard. Um, as you can see, we got another postcard. It's the same one from before. And inside we have, oops, a 
Um, I feel like the box didn't maybe need to be this big, but inside we have a vanilla Nendoroid from Lego Power. Really excited about that. So, so cute. Um, I've definitely been waiting on this one for a long time. As if you know about this Nendoroid, you know that it's gone up in price since it came out, because it came out quite a while ago. But yeah, finally got it. Um, I did buy this at retail just a long time ago. And she's so, so cute. Super excited to have this one. I do collect the Vanilla's figures. I don't collect your collar. So that's good because it means that um, I don't have to buy two times as many figures from Lego Para. But yeah, the box is adorable. And so is she. She's so cute. I really like colour expressions. And yeah, there she is with your collar. Um, it would be nice to have both of them, but I just focus on collecting Vanilla because I think that she's the best. She's my favourite. So yeah, that's the Vanilla Nendoroid. And inside the box we also have this keychain of Judai from Ego Jack. I just thought this is such a cute and funny one because uh, he looks like he's sleeping and he's in his like uh, school outfit. Um, so yeah, really really cute. Uh, I also got this hoodie and um, this is a men's size medium. Um, I really like oversized hoodies so uh, hopefully it's a little bit big on me but I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the Kyber Corporation hoodie with a blue eyes and it's just a really simple hoodie but I really like it, definitely gonna wear it um, on my comfy days, I just want to be comfy. So yeah, I just think the design is really cute and I really like that, so yeah, that's what I got in my anime haul. Okay, so this is my haul for today and uh, I'm really happy with it and there's a lot of figures. I have been looking for figures at a good price, so trying to find ones that I'm looking for but for a good price, doing a little bit of deal hunting. And it's been pretty successful, so I'm really happy with that. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like unboxing and haul type content like this, I make plenty of it on my channel. I make um, collecting videos in general, so I also do reviews and unboxings of figures and stuff like that. So yeah, um, if you like it, please do let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, let me know what your favourite thing was that um, I unboxed in the video today. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!